Hello and welcome to another special unboxing episode of Dad vs. Daughter. I'm Tim the Dad. I'm Megan the Daughter. And today we are unboxing Carson City. This is like the anniversary big box mm -hmm. edition. Uh, this is a western game and we just yes. talked, you know, not that long ago when we unboxed Gold West that we didn't have a lot of western themed games. Not really, no. Uh, so we're adding this to the collection. Mm -hmm. It's part of my birthday gift. Yes. So let's uh, open it up and see what's in the box. Okay. Okay, I don't think we mentioned this uh, in our intro, but this is by uh, Quinn Games, mm -hmm. uh, and it is by designer Xavier Georges, well, or Jorge's. is Alexander Roche, with chocolate, Roche. Roche chocolate? Well, yeah. the box is kind of chocolate colored. It's, it's there's, black. And there's nothing on the back. <laughs> no, because this is like an anniversary edition, so we'll just go ahead and get into it here. I do like the, uh, even this is kind of simplistic, see the little mm -hmm. pistols? Oh, that is kind of cool, I didn't notice that. Now, All right. my Ooh, friend wow. Chris is the one, actually, who uh, had this game, and I actually played it with him, and I thought it was super cool, so one of the reasons why I wanted it. Oh, wow. Lots of things here. Well, so you've got cowboys in your own colors, box, and then these uh, these black sticks are basically railroads. Yeah, so you got those, yeah, but we got blue and green, but so we're good there. We are good. These are cool. These, uh, these cool. remind me of the meeples that are in... Carcassonne, um, Gold Rush. Carcassonne, Gold Rush, exactly. I think they might be. Yeah, they're very similar. Cool. So, and then you got your dice. Oh, yeah. So that's pretty cool. So you can see there's a lot of stuff there to go over mm -hmm. Gerber. Here we have a score pad. Wow, that's like. a pretty thick score pad too. So lots yeah. of games you can play. Got a nice black baggie. It's not leather or velvet. Not leather. Why would it be leather? Velvet. Well, that'd be cool. If it would be kind of cool if it was leather. That's a high I mean, expensive this, production value. This is an expensive game. This is a hundred dollar game. Uh, which is one of the reasons why I wanted to get it as a birthday gift, uh, so I didn't have to buy it myself. But uh, yeah, this is this is really it's cool. A very big map. So these represent all the different, uh, basically land areas that you're going to claim uh, throughout the game. So if we just show, and then you can see this, there's a scoring track around the outside. But if we just fold that up so you can see the top part yeah, there. there we go. Um, so this is, you're going to do worker placement. Mm -hmm. So kind of like, I know you haven't played Francis Drake yet, but this is no. kind of like Francis Drake in a way where you're going to be uh, placing guys and you're going to be doing uh, certain things on your turn. This is about the same weight as Francis Drake, though. Yeah. And, and it's double-sided. Yeah. So we got a river that runs through it mm -hmm. there. And different, uh, is that different up at the top? Um, no, I think that's the same, it looks like. Is it just that the, we got the river? Yeah, I think yeah, yeah. The only difference is the river. Yeah, and it's been a while since I played it, so I'm gonna have to refresh myself with the rules. But very okay. cool board. Put that over there. So here we have rule books for all our different languages. Well, there's German. You've got French there. French. Is it French or Russian? I think it's French. Uh, that looks to be French. No, yeah, I was gonna say I'm trying to see if I recognize any words a little bit. Nah. So, oh wait, no. Wait, no, that's French. That's French. That's okay, French. that's Russian. We need to get our flags. We need to watch more fun with flags with shells and people. Yeah, there we go. There's the there's, English there's, version. There's our version. Okay. <laughs> so let's take a look at this. So you can see there's a, a better uh, illustration of the board. Mm -hmm. Game setup. You Lots know, of information. Parcel purchases. You're going to have these little tokens that you're going to put on the board that represent your buildings and mm -hmm. such. Here's your character information. Yeah, because you're also, it's character selection, so oh, you're nice. going to be able to choose your character, and that's going to determine your your order and what special abilities you get for that turn. That's kind of cool looking. you got a bunch of those. Yeah. And, and that's got... based on the number of players that you have, that's I, I cool. believe. And then the river variant, so that's for the uh -huh. backside, and then the outlaw variant is over here. Gotcha. All right, so now we have... These are the Some punch out tiles here. Well, I'm trying to th because this actually comes with, like I said, a number of uh, I think expansions that are built in. So there's there. Looks like it probably goes on the top of the board if you're wanting to replace. This might be for the outlaw yeah, variant. I think. I think you're right. Because it has the black meeples. 
Here's also yeah. what it looked like in the rule book. I think you're right. So then this one will be for the, the river. river. I'm, I'm just taking a guess because, you know, there's like river tiles. But you've got a couple sheets of those. Does it sing? Does it sing? Do you hear a river song? Ha, ha, ha. I'm going to say the only water in the forest is the river. Yeah, so these are the uh, the player colors and how you're going to basically claim your parcels of land. Okay. Here we have... Those are kind of thin. Oh, the characters, looks like. So these are in cardboard punch-outs here. Yeah. So the characters you're going to take and what abilities they're going to give you. Mm -hmm. Though this artwork looks a little different. I guess it also depends on which variants you're using mm -hmm. because you've got... One, you got zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight on this. And then nine through seventeen here. Yeah. That's kind of cool. Got those building tiles here. Yep. Yeah. This is a little thicker cardstock. Mm -hmm. We got some more there. Dynamite. Stick of dynamite. There you go. And then you've got like mountain ranges and you've got some money. And these I haven't seen too, so I wonder if those are with the uh, expansions. Yeah, the outlaw variant. Got some revolvers and horses. And then you've got more money. Because I know the games. game that we played uh, was fairly straightforward. So. Yeah. Well, we'll just have to read the English rule book, so we're in the right one, and figure out what everything does. Yep. So let's punch this out and Gerberize it, then see what it looks like. Okay. So as you can see, this game has kind of been Gerberized. Even though this is a big box, there are so many different comp uh, components. Like we had to put all the money in a bag. We did get all the individual um, character colors separated out into their own Gerbers. But even like the roll uh, tokens and some of these that are used with some of the variants are in their own bag, even including the, uh, the buildings that we're going to use in the, in the normal game. So... This is kind of a supplement to the unboxing video. Uh, my friend Chris had actually made inserts for the Carson City Big Box based on plans he found on Board Game Geek. So uh, he had actually gotten one of the uh, other inserts that he actually had to pay for, and so he gave me the ones that he made. So I just want to show that off and show what good organization can look like for this because this is a beast of a box but at the same time there uh you can't gerberize this because you would need way too many gerbers and you'd never be able to fit everything in the box so show you how we have this here there is uh, one of the uh, uh promos that actually chris had given me and since i've already did the unboxing already i'm not going to go into too much detail but you can just kind of see where everything is laid out and you can notice that um, when chris did this he, he's got this set up so that uh, the board and this other part of the insert fit flush together which is really cool so then we have layers of trays here and i'm not sure if this is how the board game geek uh plans look like as far as what goes where but uh lift this off and you can see that there is all of our money and the normal starting rolls that we take then next one we have uh all the other rolls these houses actually chris made for me uh and my wife painted them uh, because i don't have the actual kickstarter houses like he does but uh he did an awesome job on that so just wanted to show those off. We've got the rails up here. We've got the gun tokens. Uh, like I said, we've got the other rolls. We've got the dice and the river uh, tiles. And then I have an open slot there. I'm not sure. Or actually, I've got a couple open slots. Not sure what all was supposed to go in those, but you can kind of see here's some of the extra money. We have our player meeples and uh, parcel uh, claim tiles, I guess what you'd call them. Got the horses uh, expansion and then, uh, whoa, all these other ones. Except I just made a mess of these. And then finally we have the 
house tokens, and all of the other building uh, tiles, not tokens. And then all the extra rule books in all the different languages. So it actually goes in here very nicely. Chris, you did an awesome job. Just put this all back away in here. And you can see that the box fits nice and flush. So excellent job. Thanks a lot, Chris. Okay, so you saw Chris's insert. Now here is the Meeple Realty insert. Uh, everything works great. I do not have the Kickstarter, so that is why you see maybe some, uh, like there's a blank space there. And if I had the Kickstarter, I'd have the wooden horses and I'd also have the uh, wooden guns and my houses would be probably fit perfectly in that spot. As it is, I have about three of them that were kind of over the top since they're you know not exactly the same houses that come in the Kickstarter. So what I do wanna do right now is show you how all this goes in the box. Um, because I really didn't know how everything fit into the trays. Inside the insert, it comes with this picture, and also consulting with my buddy Chris, who has uh, this insert as well. Uh, he kind of helped me figure out where everything should go. I was trying to figure out because I had the buildings all packed, but I couldn't figure out why there were some buildings there. So these are for the two starting ranches and two starting uh, mines. And then the high value buildings are up here behind the houses. So, uh, so now, now let me go ahead and just put all this in the box and you can see how it all works together. Now, kind of like uh, Dice Forge, which has kind of a, an intricate put back in the box system, the insert also shows you how everything goes back in too. So make sure that even after you've completed putting the uh, Meeple Realty insert together, you might want to keep at least this page. I'm going to keep the whole thing because it fits in the box just fine. Um, but this way you always know which way everything goes back in. So we're going to start with the game setup tray. And then it says to add the new beginning variant which is basically the score pad in, the, in that box there. Then we have our resource tray. Then the might is right and the buildings. Next, we'll put the horses in and the outlaws. The player boxes. The bank. And you'll notice there's a uh, the bank sits up a little higher. That's because that's right where the board goes. Then I also have the horses player boards. The felt bag. The uh, promo that my buddy Chris gave me. I can put the rule book in. I'm going to keep these two just so I remember how to put things back together. And finally the lid. Everything fits back perfect. And now that is Carson City. So we will catch you guys next time.
If you would like to support us, you can visit patreon.com slash dadvdaughter. Like and follow us on Facebook to stay current on our show schedule, sneak peeks at future shows, and to interact with us.